Hey, this is Bill Medley of the Righteous Brothers. Watch happening now with Hammer. With Hammer. Hey guys, um, it's that time of year again, and all them little ones are uh, giving us our beach back, yeah. and they're going back to school. Right, guys? Yeah, get the hell out of our beaches. <laughs> Jeez, best time of year. These guys are bitter, man. I don't. I mean, I live like you know close to the beach, but not you know at it, the it beach. It makes a difference. It yeah. makes a difference. I tell you, September, yeah, October, a, a the one. best months at the beach. Nobody's around. Yeah, you can actually uh, you know get out there and, and enjoy yourself without five billion people. Yeah, my son went to Doheny, went surfing yesterday. He said it was just a shit show. There, I mean, you know, anywhere that the, the one spot that there was decent waves, there was a thousand people just lined up. Uh, Cliff goes to church. Should have gone to Sano. And uh, it's it's uh, pretty fucking crowded down there too, and it shouldn't be because you have to have like a base pass in order to get over there, and it's still just bananas. Your kid a good surfer? Everywhere. My son? Mm-hmm. Uh, he just started out, uh, but he loves it. He's he's usually becomes pretty good at. He's got Grom written across his forehead still. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's been rock climbing. They found a rock climbing gym by our house, and they go every day. And like his his he's getting kind of beefy. Rock climbing is hands down, I think, the best sport you can do in tandem with surfing because yeah. like just supporting your body weight and holding it like that. I mean, through college, all we were doing was rock climbing and surfing. Yeah, like yeah. core and, and upper body strength. Yeah. Adam, have you been surfing lately? Yeah, a little bit. And actually the water temp dropped down quite a bit. We were having like such nice warm water. Yeah. I could trunk it again. Are you guys like surfer interested. snobs? <laughs> Cliff's a huge surfer snob. How like, so? I mean, what? like about, you know, just everything, you know, it just the way that they dress or the type of board that they're using or, you know, their etiquette, you know, well, on the etiquette's board. important. Yeah, there's. Or, a- yeah, I mean. I think surfing offers you a hobby that you don't have to keep up with and you can constantly complain about, which is an <laughs> awesome combination. Exactly. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> so, but I also think that, yeah, there, there are definitely like shitty things about it too. Like etiquette's one that I would say is worse, but yeah. I'll paddle away from somebody before I even want to just like let them ruin the couple hours I'm going to get in the water. What about your wetsuit? What kind of wetsuit do you wear? Um, I, or do you wear one? I have six wetsuits. So <laughs> exactly. I, <laughs> I love a dry wetsuit, right? Oh man, like sliding in to a nice dry wetsuit when you it's need like one. sliding into someone's DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like, do you wear like the shorts kind or like the full kind or like... Both. What about the one, the little booty things? Do you, oh, do you wear those? I Clip don't wear totally the reef booties. making fun of somebody that was wearing those. You can Tops. absolutely, that's fair game. You can make some fun of somebody wearing reef booties in Southern Unless California. Unless you're at Sano. If you're at Sano, you almost have to wear the guy. Those are so rocky, right? Get over it. Just go out there. The water's really? warm. Oh, You'll yeah. make it. Yeah. Uh, I should yeah. say that because my daughters do the same. They just walk out barefoot. So Me, you're right. Yeah. Um, but the, the wetsuits, I, I was Get riding my it. short leg, long arm the other day while it was warm. Absolutely loved it. That suit was killer. My favorite wetsuit I can wear is like the short sleeve long leg because mm. while your legs are sitting in the water you're you're staying as warm as you could be but you feel like you're in a t-shirt you're moving around yep. oh. you just don't want to look like Ralphie's little brother right I, <laughs> 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 there's I that move. I got your six mil on but I also <laughs> different the, kinds of boards too do you make fun of people that are you know like the foam boards from Costco or whatever the fuck you know or it depends on what they're doing with it because you, you that's fair game as well right like yeah, but as long as they're know, out there, saying, man, I don't I, care. I, I'm like, God, you're such a snob. You're what a dick. Like, why are you just making yeah. fun of everybody? It's, <laughs> you're just I, like, well, I mean. But what, which which beach, Southern California beach, would you tell newbies not to go to because they're gonna get their ass handed to them by the by the vets? Zuma Beach Break, up south of Malibu. Don't even like even if. First I mean, point. That's not Southern California. No, I mean, no, he's talking about you know just like the the, the beaches right around here, you yeah, know, like Huntington, yeah, or, yeah. Santa, San Clemente, you know. Be careful uh, around Newport Laguna. Point and Blackies, and yeah, Laguna is just mostly really thumpy beach breaks, so that's good to avoid in general. But I think that uh, Newport, you have a lot of really good beginner breaks especially right. blackies right. yeah blackies yep. beach yep 28th south of the jetty mm-hmm. 50th yeah. or what at 50 seconds san onofre i mean like i i, I don't know there was a, great. i was just out there uh, there was like a fucking ton of people i mean yeah. insanity yeah right brandy have you been on a board 
Huh? Have you been on a board? Paddle boarding, you know, I did that. I had to be rescued in Hawaii. I had my daughter on there. And then the, <laughs> no, I mean, like, the current just changed super quick, you know, uh, and it kept pulling me towards the jetty, and I had my kid on the front of it, you know. Swim parallel. We're just kind of cruising around. Parallel to the And beach. then all of a sudden, it, the, it just kept pulling me, pulling me, and I'm just, like, I'm getting exhausted. I'm, Yeesh. you know, paddling like well, crazy. Well, the, the, the problem is with those currents, a lot of times you have to swim out to yeah. get out of it and, and then come back around. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know much about the ocean or you haven't been in it much uh, and you can't see what the waves are doing, you can be in trouble real quick. I'm surprised we don't have more problems on our, in our beaches. I mean, we've got some great lifeguards out we've there. We've got so great lifeguards. Yeah. I read the other day that the lifeguards in uh, Los Angeles are making upwards of like a half a million dollars a year. That's true. Some I of those guys make serious yeah. money. The guy's been there yeah, for like, years. I mean, yeah. what kind of fucking racket is that? I don't know. I think we, How I think is we that missed a thing? The, we well, missed the uh, yeah. the job interview on that one. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> 20, 20 lifeguards in LA County are in between three hundred and five hundred ten. Yeah. That's twenty too many. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, You're on the lifeguards. Yeah. Come why on. are they making? Why are they making that much they're money? It doesn't heroes. make. It's a, they're fucking lifeguards. I'm sorry. What should they firemen make? and you said you said heroes? Firemen and police officers don't make fucking a half a million dollars a year. Yeah, but they're basically a fireman a and a cop in one well, and everything else. But the problem and an EMT. Is, still, I just said hero you know, tongue-in-cheek. Yeah, like, you know, they got a lot to do. Those guys got a lot to do. And the guys that are making that money, by the way, they're making three to half. Those are the guys that have been there 20 years, and they're running the departments. I mean, you got to have somebody that can count to three. Yeah, but still, they, the they retire at 45, 55, and they get their pensions, and they're making another, you know, 250 per year for the rest of their lives. And, yeah, you're right. Where's the goddamn apps for that? Yeah, <laughs> can we get an app? Yeah. Let's get on that, Adam. Can you get us, uh, go online and get us some apps? For, oh, I'm uh, checking it out right now, guys. Yeah, yeah. okay. I'm just saying, kids, I guess be a lifeguard when you grow up. Just because we can't swim doesn't mean we can't be a good lifeguard. Hey, that was my first job as a lifeguard. Well, yeah. I think it's less about those 20 earning that range and more about the rest that are barely making minimum wage, right? Um, I, I don't know what I, what the rest are making. I mean, I just thought that they were like across the board, just overpaid as the kind of the, No, I mean, most of them are, got from are, are the making article. like 40 and under. No, there, there's only 20 guys like- They make it, less than $40,000. Yeah. <laughs> And then there are people that are making that. That's right. Gotta be wait some a minute. Wait a minute. Scam. Check Come check out lifeguards in Newport Beach. Less They've got to start grand. more than forty. That's not even. The, you you no, can't even part, survive that's, on that's that much time. money. You've got well, six no, roommates yeah. if you're making forty they're, grand. They're not full time jobs. They're not full time. No. Yeah. yeah. They, they've it's got seasonal. shifts. They've got seasonal. They've got a lot of shit. That's yeah. Different. Yeah.